Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create and assign custom security attributes to user in Microsoft Entra ID. Custom security attributes in Microsoft Entra ID are business specific attributes that you can define and assign to Microsoft Entra objects. These attributes can be used to store information, categorize objects, or enforce fine-grained access control over specific Azure resources. For example, you can assign custom security attribute to filter your employees or to help determine who get access to resources. To read, define, or assign custom attributes, certain administrative roles are needed. Microsoft Entra ID provides built-in roles to work with custom security attributes, including Attribute Definition Administrator, Attribute Assignment Administrator, etc. The global administrators do not have these roles by default. If necessary, a global administrator can assign these roles to themselves. In the last video, we have assigned the Attribute Assignment Administrator and attribute definition administrator roles to the admin account. The link to that video can be found in the description. Now that we have the needed roles, let's explore a scenario where we can utilize custom security attributes. We want to add specific custom attributes to Microsoft Entra ID users. To achieve this, we first need to create a custom security attribute set. To do this, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Now, expand Users and click on All Users. Click on Admin User Account Manhar Rakulia. Under Manage, click on Assign Rules. As can be seen, this user has already been assigned with Attribute Assignment and Attribute Definition Administrator roles. Now, we are ready to add an attribute set. Expand Protection and click on Custom Security Attributes. An attribute set is a collection of related attributes. All custom security attributes must be part of an attribute set. Before creating attribute sets, Remember that once they are created, they cannot be renamed or deleted. Click Add Attribute Set to create a new attribute set. We have to enter a name for this attribute set, description, and maximum number of attributes per attribute set. Ok, I have entered a name, description, and maximum number of attributes for this attribute set. When finished, click Add. The new attribute set appears in the list of attribute sets. Once you have created the attribute set, then you can start adding the attributes to that attribute set. Click on our attribute set name. To add a new security attribute to the selected attribute set, click on Add Attribute. In the Attribute Name box, enter a custom security attribute name. Note there are other types of attributes like Boolean and Integer which may be used as needed. For this example, I am going to select a String Data Type. Select Yes to allow multiple values to be assigned to this custom security attribute. I'll keep No selected to only allow a single value to be assigned to this custom security attribute. For only allowed predefined values to be assigned, select Yes to require that this custom security attribute be assigned values from a predefined values list. Now click Add Value to add predefined values for this attribute. Let me add predefined value video editor. An active value is available for assignment to objects. Keep in mind a value that is not active is defined but not yet available for assignment. Click add. Again click add value. Type value video recording. Make sure the value is set to active. Click add. Again click add value. Type script writer. Clear the active checkbox and click on Add. So we have added three predefined values to select from. When finished, click on Save and wait for confirmation. 
the new custom security attribute appears in the list of custom security attributes now we have a custom security attribute set with an attribute to perform these steps use a need attribute definition administrator role assignment the next step is the assignment of the attribute to an existing user account the role that needs to be in place is the attribute assignment administrator role since we already have this role let us assign an attribute from the vitry production attribute set click on all users select the user you want to assign custom security attributes to in this example i'll click on vijay patel in the manage section select custom security attributes select add assignment in attribute set select vitry production attribute set from the list in attribute name Select YT production role custom security attribute from the list. Depending on the properties of the selected custom security attribute, you can enter a single value, select a value from a predefined list or add multiple values. Remember, in this example, we have selected a string and added predefined values to our attribute. Select add values to open the attribute values pane and add your values from the list. The script writer value is not activated and that's why it is not available for assignment. In this example, I'll select video editor. At top, select save to assign the custom security attribute to the selected user. We have successfully assigned an attribute from an attribute set to this user account. Now, we can filter the list of custom security attributes assigned to users on the all users page. Click on all users. Select add filter. From the list, select custom security attributes. Since there is only one attribute set and one attribute name, both will be automatically selected. If you have multiple attribute set and attribute name, you can select it from here. For operator, you can select equals, not equals or starts with. In this example, I'll select equals. For value, enter or select a value from the drop down list select video editor and click on apply out of all users only users with the selected custom attribute value will be displayed in our case only vijay patel will be displayed since we have assigned custom security attribute to our user account vijay patel only vijay patel will be displayed on all users page after applying the filter this is how we can create and assign custom security attribute to Microsoft Enter ID user account. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Enter ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.